Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dawson and I am doing my summer empties today. And as you can tell, I have a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. So this might be like a lengthy video, but if you wanna see all my trash and see what I emptied all summer long, then just keep on watching. I have plenty of wear out of all of these products so I know what I like and know what I don't like and I know what why I do and do not like each item so yeah plenty of impressions and reviews on this video so yeah if you're interested in seeing a bunch of reviews then just keep on watching all right I have these uh in no particular order I'm literally just grabbing out of this basket and I need to get a trash can to put on the other side of me all right, I got my trash can, so uh, I'm not going to list a bunch of these products in the description box below. I might choose some of them to list down below, but if you're interested in seeing, like, if you want me to create a link and put it down below, just ask in the comments below, and I will surely put it in my description in the future. But yeah, the first one I'm going to start off with is this Tresemme used by professionals. Um, it's the number four extra hold uh, hairspray. This is a very nice setting. Uh, this is a very nice hairspray. I absolutely loved it. It is years old, as you can tell with the rust on the top. Um, but it really lasted a whole bunch of years and still worked out great. I actually used a different uh, spray today and I do not like it as much as this one. So this one is a very, very good one and I definitely recommend it. Uh, I am trying to find a cruelty free one that I love as just as much as this, if not better, but I haven't got there yet. But if you have any recommendations for a cruelty free brand of hairspray that is freaking awesome and will hold up to this, then list them in the comments below. The next thing I have is my Chili um, Cleanser, Fruit Enzyme Cleanser, Deep Cleanse and Renew. Um, this I got from Thrive Market not too long ago, maybe a few months ago. Um, it is cruelty free, vegan, no GMO, gluten free. It's good for 24 months. Um, yeah, you're gonna use it by then if you use it as much as I did. Ew, I got hair all over it. But this is a very, very nice cleanser. Um, I definitely recommend trying it out. Um, if you don't want use Thrive Market, which I think I'm about to discontinue uh, using it because my yearly subscription is almost ended. But it's a nice uh, place to try more cruelty-free products. And they make it convenient and it's a nice pricing. They have discounted prices on it. But it's a nice one to dive in when you're just getting into that but it is like $65 a year. But yeah, I'm gonna discontinue doing that just because I felt like I put my feet in there a little bit and I'm more experienced and I'll just go shopping. But this is a nice cleanser. I definitely recommend trying it. If you haven't heard of this brand before, look it up, try it. It's freaking awesome. It's good for dry sensitive skin. Um, it's a great cleanser. It's like, okay, so the Cetaphil cleanser, it was one of my favorites. This one's even better than that, and this one's cruelty free, and Cetaphil is not. It is a little bit more pricey, and you don't get as much, um, but in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. Skincare is definitely worth it. I need to repurchase it. The next thing is the Essential Oxygen BR Organic Brushing Rinse. So, I think you are supposed to use this. Yeah, you're supposed to rinse your teeth first, then brush it, and then polish it. No, I didn't really do that. Um, I didn't really get this, to be honest. I got it at Thrive Market to try it out. Um, it wasn't, like, I just, I don't know. It's supposed to be make you have whiter teeth, fresher breath, healthier gums. But to be honest, I mean, it, it works just as good, if not the same as some of the very cheaper items that isn't cruelty free. I don't know. I just don't think it's worth it in my opinion. 
But as like, like you could tell, I, I did use it all up, so it's not crap or anything. I just don't want to repurchase it. The next thing is the Cha Conditioner. Um, Aubrey. Here is what it looks like. Sorry for the glare. There you go. But yeah, this was a conditioner I just got done using. It doesn't smell like, it doesn't smell great. It doesn't stink or anything, but it doesn't smell great. In my opinion, uh, the, it, the, it conditions okay, but it's not all bad. So would I repurchase? No. But did I use it up? Yes. It's not crap, but I won't repurchase. The next thing I really did really love, but I can't get here in, um, in the U.S. as easily as my friend from Sweden can. Um, and she actually sent me this. Um, her YouTube name is DD5. It's D-I-D-D-I-5. That's her channel name. We did like a box swap. And I sent her like, I think a bunch of e.l.f. products that I can remember, but some other products too, I think. I'm not really sure. I can't remember. But she sent me a bunch of Kix products. And this is the Kix Daring False Lash Extreme Volume and Length Mascara. And it was a very nice mascara. Um, I did think it was a little too wet at first, but after a month, it dried out a little bit. And then I really loved it. Um... I think it lasted a few months. I think I just got done with this maybe a month ago. And I can't remember how many months ago I got it. So, but yeah, it's a very nice mascara. And I don't know how much originally it is. Um, but yeah, it's good for six months. It was a very nice mascara. And if she sent it to me again in the future, I would love to have it. But it was a nice try. But I used it up, so there's that. The next thing is the Burt's Bees Facial Towelettes, and this is for sensitive skin. I can't remember if I got this from Thrive Market or if I got it from my Burt's Bees box. Um, I believe I got this one from my Burt's Bees box, and it was really nice facial wipes. They didn't stink. They actually was really good for my dry, sensitive skin. I really loved them. Would I repurchase? I mean, I'm not going to go to Walgreens or whatever and hunt it down or go online and hunt it down to get. But if I saw it like at a TJ Maxx or something like that and I was shopping for facial masks, yeah, I would definitely pick it up again. Um, I'm just not out to only get this again like facial wipes or facial wipes normally um more i'm more tuned to try out different facial wipes than get the same one but i definitely will stay away from some but really i'm not that picky about facial wipes so these are good they're good i recommend them if you haven't tried them try them they're pretty good the next thing is a honeysuckle mainstays candle um i got this from walmart um they was on sale for like three bucks and honeysuckle is my favorite scent ever it just reminds me a lot about like childhood memories and stuff um it smells it smelled very good what i repurchase definitely time time again anything honeysuckle i love it the next thing is my morphe continuous setting spray this is freaking bomb.com um, I just had my giveaway video post, I think, about six days ago or so. So if you haven't seen that giveaway video or that giveaway announcement video, please check that out. Um, Deborah won it, so uh, she has got her her own bottle. I can't wait to see how she likes the product she won. Um, but yeah, I used mine up in a real fast and in a hurry. And if you ever do decide to go and order from Morphe, definitely get the setting spray, but get two bottles for yourself. Because if you're like me and you love setting spray, you're going to use it and you're going to use it fast. <laughs> what I repurchase? Definitely. Definitely. Time, time again. Every time I go to the Morphe website from now on, I'm getting this spray. <coughs> the next thing is the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I got this little sample when I did 
or when I got my other Glossier products, I got the Glossier Wilder and the Boy Brow. And this was like the simple packet you get for free. And I tried it and I think it was enough for like either two or three times in this little packet. And I really did love it. And if I ever do order from Glossier again in the future, I will definitely want to try this priming moisturizer. If you have dry sensitive skin, I definitely suggest you to try it if you're doing a Glossier haul or whatever. But yeah, it's really nice. Okay, this is one of my favorite uh, thermal sprays. It's the Tresemme Used by Professionals Thermal Corrections Heat Protectant up to 450 Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. I love this stuff. Uh, I'm actually using a backup already and I used it today, so I love it. Repurchased time and time and again, and I definitely recommend it to all y'all. If you have a cruelty-free dupe for this, please leave them in the comments below. All right, here's another Burt's Bees um, facial wipe, but this is the micellar cleansing towelettes uh, for all skin types. This one, I believe I got from Thrive Market. Um, they was really nice facial wipes. They did their job. I used them up. Would I repurchase if I saw it again? Sure. Am I going to go out of my way to buy it? No, not really. But it was a really nice one and I do recommend it. Okay, the next thing is uh, kind of inappropriate. So if you want to skip ahead a minute from now, you should do that right now. So the next product is this Astroglide, I think it's called. Water-based, long-lasting, non-sticky personal lubricant. Um, I haven't really used it up yet, but I have used half of it already um, all summer long. Um, it's water-based, easy to clean up, uh, condom compatible, long-lasting, not sticky. I will say that it is a water-based. It's very nice, and I personally love water-based. I don't like gel at all. Um, if you tried personal lubricants before and you find that they're just thick, get a water-based one. Um, easy cleanup, I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is. It's no worse than other uh, yeah. <laughs> condom compatible. Uh, I don't know. I don't really use them. So, long lasting uh, uh i've had a little bit better if you okay so i personally think i like the walgreens personal lubricant it's a water-based one and it's like a warming one better than this one but this one is a nice one but if i had to pick this one or the other i would go with the walgreens one i believe it's cheaper but this one my husband got so i mean it's nice it's just not as nice as the, you know it's like the drugstore brand of personal lubricant so i think it's cheaper than this one but it this one's nice but the other one is um i believe uh, works longer you don't have to use as much and um, it has a warming kind of feel to it this one doesn't have warming at all it just stays the same and I believe it doesn't last as long and it's not sticky it's not that sticky but like I said the one that um, I don't have the bottle with me right now but it's like a orange cap and it's the Walgreens brand off brand and um it's water based and it's warming that one is less stickier than this one this one's a little bit more stickier and i feel like it doesn't um it's not as long lasting but this one is a nice one and do i recommend it yeah if you've seen it get it it's nice but i would recommend the one that i was talking about earlier before i would get this one again if that makes any sense the next thing i just used up is the Kix eyeliner. This was in the box swap with me and Dee Dee. Um, I really, really, really did love it. Um, it took this long to dry out. Like I said, I literally just put it in there before this video when I was cleaning off my makeup desk. 
so it went out about a week ago um but yeah it says it's good for six months i think it lasted about that long uh, i don't know maybe not as long as that um like i could use it a little bit longer but i feel like it's not the same quality as it was so would i recommend this yes but if you're in the u.s it's probably not as easy to get but if you're from sweden um this is a nice one the kicks brand so far that i've tried that she sent me i really love the next thing is the Burt's Bees Hydrating Gel Cream with Royal Jelly Skin Nourishment Normal to Combination Skin. I absolutely love the little glass container. Um, <gasps> there's a little bit left in there on the cap. I did not realize that. Okay, well, anyways. This was really, really nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that don't look good. It smells really good. It's not like that strong, but it smells good. Um, I didn't. I would never repurchase it. I feel like it worked really good, but I hate anything that's supposed to go on the face but can't go near your eyes. It's it, it gave my eyes like a stinging effect. So what I did was dumped this into my face and body lotion um, just for the benefits. It smelled good. Um, it smelled like it would complement the other stuff I had in it. Um, but having it like with the other stuff that doesn't irritate my eyes kind of toned it down so I could use it on my face without it irritating my eyes. But it, it was a nice one, but I wouldn't repurchase it just because it's a facial product that you can't put near your eyes without irritation. So, the next item is the Tarte Maracuja Bronzing Serum. Um, this, I think it's discontinued now, but I got this from my friend uh, at work. Um, she has a YouTube channel, but she really doesn't create content right now. She's made one, one video, and that was it, and it was about a year ago of her makeup collection. I forgot what her channel name is, but anyway, she's a friend from work, and she has a lot of makeup, and I figured I would shop her stash um, because, yeah, she has too much makeup that she can't wear, and I needed makeup, so I just bought some from her. But I bought this from her, and um, in my opinion, it was like it was a nice serum, but it didn't bronze anything at all, and it still had the like self tanner smell. So what I did to get the benefits from the serum is dumped it in that same uh, body and uh, face face and body lotion I had with the Burt's Bees thing. I dumped that, this whole thing in there too. That way you, the, uh, the bronzing or the self tanner smell that was in this wouldn't be as strong. Um, it worked really good like that. But would I repurchase this again or recommend it? No. That was an expensive product too. The next thing I have is the Flower Beauty Sponge. It's just the th the case to it. Um, I'm using it right now, and I do have it in my future giveaway. My fall giveaway, it will be September 23rd. If you're interested in entering that, just stay tuned. It will be up, and uh, this sponge will be in there, um, which yours going to be new, but... Um, this is just the case of mine. I'm still using my sponge, but I wanted to share my thoughts on it. It's a very nice sponge. I really love it, and I already bought a backup. Like I said, I bought one for one of you guys, plus I bought another one either for a, another future giveaway, maybe the winter giveaway, or maybe I'll switch out my sponge by then. Probably more likely that. Definitely love it and definitely recommend the Flower Beauty Sponge. The next thing I have is the, I think you pronounce it, Gallo Family Sweet Pineapple Wine. 
Um, this one came from Fred's. Um, I don't know where else you can get it, but it's a very cheap wine. It's like Moscato, it's Moscato wine. It's um, delicious, it says it, deliciously sweet wine with natural pineapple flavor. And that's the best way to describe it. If you like Moscato wines um, you and you like pineapple, you more likely will love this. So if you see it at your local Fred's or wherever you see it, then pick it up, try it. The next thing I have is a LA Colors, I think it used to say graphic eyeliner, but it's kind of wore out. <laughs> this one was really good. I got it from my local um, Dollar General. It was like two bucks, I think, and it was really good. It says it's good for six months, but in my personal opinion, I think it lasted only two months for me and then dried out. But Pretty much all eyeliners I've tried so far kind of do that. That's like the uh, pen top or no, 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 no. Oh yeah, it was like this type of thing. So it was really good though and it was only two bucks and lasted two months. So I will definitely be repurchasing it next time I get stuff from Dollar General. I'll pick it up again and I definitely recommend it. The next thing I have is the Radiance Skin, no, the Radiance Spin Care System, the, I think you call it Duval, that brand, uh, it's the Skin Care System, um, I have a review of it on my channel, um, if I can remember when I'm editing this video, I will put the card right here, no, the card will be right here, um, with that little review of me trying it out but i will say that i this is months down the road and i'm still loving it and definitely um this is really affordable so if you haven't tried if you are interested in trying out the a spin care brush system then i definitely would recommend this one me personally i only use the facial brush and sometimes the exfoliating one um maybe use that one like once every two weeks or maybe once a week um, to exfoliate the disc skin normally around my nose area but of course all over my face too but mostly just the facial brush and i use that almost daily so yeah i definitely lo love it and definitely recommend it and the brush is still good so this one is a homemade candle I picked up from, I think, uh, it was like an Oktoberfest here um, around where I live in Alabama. And uh, this woman was selling some homemade candles. This one is, is called Scents by Val. Her name was Valerie too. And this is the Lemon Verbena. And it has her number on there and um it is a very nice lemony whoop, very nice lemon smell to it and um so her number is 205-492-4076 um her name is val since by val so you can't really see it but if you are looking for a very nice um smelling homemade candle I do recommend this one. Um, I'm not sure about how she, if she does shipping or if she does like, if she's just a shop and she was just there for the festival or what, but if you wanted to call her, that was her number. So I like it. If I see her again at the uh, fall festival, I will pick up some more next year, which is in two months. So, the next thing I have is Molly Sud's Laundry Powder. Um, this lasted forever. It's such a, it's like only, it's 70 loads and it's a peppermint um, scent. I got this from Thrive Market. Um, it's 46 ounces and you would think, oh, that wouldn't last me but a week, but this lasted for a good, good while. Like, I was really surprised 
because it's like it had a little oh here it is here's the little scoop and you're only supposed to use like two and a half for very big loads um and it just lasts forever and it really did a great job um i'm gonna discontinue my um thrive market but like if i saw this at a store which my stores that i shop at doesn't sell this brand but if i saw it i would definitely pick it up over and over again it's really nice and i recommend it but i don't think i'm gonna repurchase but if i saw it i would it's just the convenience thing the next thing i have is the tree hut shea sugar scrub and this is the scent moroccan rose oh my gosh y'all this smells so freaking good if you like a rose smell um but not it's like a candy rose smell i don't know but it smells so freaking good and it's a scrub so it's great for like uh dry sensitive skin um it scrubbed it off and i just love it if you see the tree hut at your local walgreens or walmart or wherever i think i got this from walmart please pick it up it smells so good so so good this is the milani make it last setting spray i can never make these spray bottles work for me um the the uh the actual product works really good. I just hate the freaking spray. So I wouldn't um, recommend it. Um, it. But, you know, I'm not going to repurchase. But, you know, it. the product was good, just not the sprayer. The next is the Ardell Lash Grip Eyelash Adhesive. I love this. Uh, I have repurchased it time and time and again. And I really love this one over the Kiss but i do want to try uh the duo brand in the future but i definitely would pick this up again i definitely recommend it and definitely would repurchase it the next thing is a gift i got from um tara here on youtube her youtube channel is called rescue is love um the is is iz rescue is love she sent me this like months ago. It's the LA Girl Pro Coverage High Definition Longwear Illuminating Foundation. I love this. It's like a $10 uh, foundation. Sometimes you can get it cheaper at Ulta. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good. And especially for the price. I love this and um, I would definitely purchase it myself. And uh, I definitely recommend it to you. The next thing I have is the Milani Eyeshadow Primer. Um, I loved it while I used it. I feel like I want a eyeshadow primer that has more of a coverage. So I usually mix this in with my foundation to make the perfect eyeshadow primer. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Um, but if you don't have veiny eyelids and you don't care for the extra coverage, I would recommend it. But personally, I won't repurchase it and I don't really recommend it, but it was nice. I used it completely up, as you can tell. The next thing I have is the exfoliating foot peel mask. I got this sent to me for free for review, but I personally did not have that great of experience with it. It did peel off and it looked really freaking cool, but unfortunately, I feel like it dried out my feet and didn't help the process of my cracked heels so I didn't want to make the video of it and be negative when they sent this to me for free so I figured I would just share my thoughts and opinions on it real quick here. I wouldn't recommend this and definitely wouldn't repurchase it. The next thing I got from my friend uh, Tara here on YouTube, Rescue is Love. Uh, she sent me this Eva NYC um, Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. It's like a hair primer. It's basically like a 10 in 1. It's conditioner. It's fragranced. It's it's really great. And I need to re I need to purchase a big bottle of this because I absolutely loved it. Um, 
I need to purchase it and I do recommend it if you hadn't tried it. The last thing I have is the Hello Whitening Floor Toothpaste in Magento Mint. I think that's how you say it. Here it is. I got this from Thrive Market. Um, it's a very nice toothpaste, but I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it. It was just nice, but you know, it's just a toothpaste and I didn't see a wow factor in it. Um, so it was good, but I wouldn't recommend it or repurchase it necessarily. All right, that is the end of this video. Please don't forget to check out my past videos. Um, September 26th, I recorded the winner of my summer giveaway. And I also did a video of this uh, brown shimmer eyeshadow look that you see on my eyes. And I uploaded that the 30th of last month. So yeah, this is September 2nd. Um, welcome to September. I hope you enjoyed my summer empties. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time, buddies. Bye!